In the world of sports and style, the two giants are locked in a never-ending battle for supremacy. This is the story of Nike vs Adidas, the sneakers war. On one side we have Nike, an industry titan boasting a staggering market cap of $190,843 billion. On the other, Adidas is a formidable adversary with a market cap of $26,973 billion. But numbers alone don't tell the whole tale. These two industry giants have forged their empires through decades of innovation and relentless branding efforts. Last year, in 2022, Nike's brand was valued at an awe-inspiring $33.1 billion, while Adidas held its ground at approximately $14.3 billion. But this epic saga is not just about numbers. It's about victories and creativity, successes, rivalries, and setbacks. In 2006, Nike stood tall with 13.44 billion euros in earnings, while Adidas lagged behind at 10.08 billion euros. And the battle raged on, even extending to the hallowed courts of the NBA. In 2015, Nike clinched their long-desired uniform contract, defeating their biggest foe, Adidas. Fast forward to 2021, and the war rages hotter than ever. Nike, with a global revenue of $44.54 billion, continues to set the pace. Now keep in mind that Adidas has been in the shoe market longer than Nike. In 1924, the two Dazzler brothers Adolf and Rudolf started manufacturing this shoe business. Following World War II, the two brothers underwent bone of contention that resulted in them both starting their shoe companies. Adolf created Adidas while his brother started Puma. Eventually, the rivalry between these two companies made Adidas a top shoe giant manufacturer. As for Nike, it was initially started as the Blue Ribbon Sports, founded by Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight in the United States in 1964. As they kept making progress towards creating innovative shoe designs, by the year 1971 they became easily one of the prominent brands in the shoe market. Especially in North America, their market share increased significantly. Later in 1978, they renamed their company to Nike Incorporated. Thus, Adidas and Nike got into a tug of war, the Sneakers War, a story that transcends sports, fashion, and defines an era. The World Cup events are always a big chance for companies like Nike and Adidas to show off their domination over sports brands. In the 2022 FIFA World Club, there were a total of 32 teams. Out of these 32 teams, 13 teams have their kits sponsored by Nike, while 7 teams sponsored by Adidas. As for the sponsorship, both these companies try to buddy up with teams that they think will rock the World Cup stage, which ultimately affects their overall sales game. For example, when Germany got knocked out early in the 2018 World Cup, Adidas, their sponsor, took a 6% stock price hit. But on the flip side, when France clinched the cup, Nike, their sponsor, immediately saw a 4% stock price boost. Now, this whole Adidas vs Nike showdown didn't just stop there. Fast forward to the 2022 FIFA World Cup final, we have Argentina, sponsored by Adidas, going head-to-head -head against the Nike crew France. After Argentina's big win, it might seem like Adidas was the clear winner, but Nike also had a slice of the victory. Because FIFA hands out five awards at the end of each World Cup, like the Golden Ball, Golden Gloves, and Golden Boot. They were all sponsored by Adidas. France's Kylian Mbappe was the Golden Boot winner, which means every time Adidas is associated with the Golden Boot, both Kylian Mbappe and Nike receive exposure. We all know that Messi and Ronaldo have been the biggest names in football for quite a while now. Right now, Messi's repping Adidas, while Cristiano Ronaldo got a lifetime contract with Nike. But guess what? At one point, they were both rocking the swoosh logo. Messi's been rocking Nike kicks and gear since he was a fresh-faced 14-year-old. Even when Nike was Barcelona's kid sponsor, Messi went ahead and inked a deal with Adidas back in 2006 and that deal turned into a lifetime thing in 2017. In the book Ronaldo, One Rivalry, Two Goats and the Era That Remade the World's Game, it's revealed that Messi's dad, George, believed Nike wasn't showing enough appreciation for Messi's request. So what happened next? Adidas stepped up to a plate and got into a bidding showdown with Nike. 
This went down in 2006, just before the World Cup. Adidas sealed the deal, signing Messi up for a solid five-year contract, and at that time, they were remunerating approximately 400,000 euros per year for his services. But here's the kicker. Adidas knew how to keep Messi smiling in that contract. They didn't just stop there. Nope, they started rolling out these cool special edition boots for Messi every year to keep him content. In the 2022 World Cup, Messi drops the Adidas X Speed Portal Leyenda, an exclusive pair of kicks inspired by his very first World Cup boots from back in 2006. You could say that is some serious dedication from Adidas for keeping Messi on their crew. In countries like Bangladesh, the rivalry between Argentina and Brazil stands out as one of the most epic showdowns. The global passion for football in these two nations has created quite a profitable business for team sponsors. Adidas has been in partnership with Argentina team ever since the 1974 World Cup rolled around. On the flip side, Nike snagged the title of Brazil's official jersey sponsor back in 1996, and they're holding on to it until 2026 with their contract extension. Unfortunately, Adidas' partnership with Argentina was all set to wrap up in 2022. However, since Argentina won the World Cup, Adidas might just decide to keep the partnership going for a few more years. Similarly, the clash between Spanish football giants Real Madrid and Barcelona, famously known as El Clasico, goes beyond European borders, captivating a colossal global audience of over 700 million fans. Just as intense as the on-field rivalry is the showdown between sportswear giants, Nike and Adidas. Since 1998, these two titans have been proudly displaying their logos on the jerseys of these Spanish powerhouses. Adidas backing Real Madrid and Nike suiting up Barcelona. This dynamic partnership is fueled by the immense worldwide fanbase and the jaw-dropping financial prowess of both clubs. Real Madrid sits at the upper echelon of the competition, boasts a mind-boggling net worth of 5.1 billion and a staggering fan army of around 275 million social media followers. Right on their heels, Barcelona secured the second spot with a net worth of $5 billion and an impressive following of approximately 260 million social media enthusiasts. Surprisingly, these sponsorship deals between the clubs and sportswear giants are locked in until the year 2028. The game, both on and off the field, continues to be nothing short of legendary. In the race for the 2012 London Olympics sponsorship, Adidas outbid Nike with a $150 million contract. They laid down strict rules preventing competitors from Olympic associations and athlete endorsements. Nike, however, got creative. They sponsored 400 athletes' shoes and advertised in 29 other places named London. Nike's hashtag FindYourGreatness campaign, celebrating the Olympic spirit in everyday folks, outperformed Adidas' hashtag TakeTheStage. Nike's campaign gained 4.5 million YouTube views, surpassing Adidas by 1.3 million and dominated in tweets, followers, and surveys. Nike's marketing success turned Adidas' 150 million investment into a flop. Transitioning to the NBA, in 2006, Adidas snagged Reebok, clinching an 11-year, $400 million deal to outfit the NBA athletics. However, they opted out in 2015, leaving the door wide open for Nike. Nike stepped in with an 8-year NBA deal rumored to cost them around $1 billion a year, which is 245% more than Adidas' previous agreement. The Nike vs. Adidas NBA showdown traces back to 1984 when Nike, less known than Adidas and Converse, aimed to boost its basketball cred. With top NBA players already endorsing Adidas or Converse, Nike turned to rookie Michael Jordan, initially spurned by Adidas for his inexperience. Nike's tailored approach birthed the Air Jordan brand, now valued at around $10 billion, contributing to Nike's dominance over Adidas. Nike and Adidas both excel in the market when it comes to exceptional product design. They collaborate with celebrities and designers, constantly innovating. For example, when Nike introduced the Air Jordan in 1984, they worked closely with Michael Jordan on its design. But in 2014, when Kanye West criticized Nike for stifling creativity, Adidas pounced. They launched the Yeezy Boost 750 with Kanye, selling out in a flash. Notably, three top Nike designers, Dennis Dekovich, Mark Dolce, and Mark Minor, made the leap to Adidas. 
This shift emphasized Adidas' commitment to designers' creative freedom in innovation, promising superior products for customers. However, later on, Adidas decided to terminate the partnership with Kanye West due to his anti-Semitic statements in public, which caused a large portion of the Adidas market to experience an immediate flop. When it comes to innovation, both Nike and Adidas have been really creative. In 2017, Adidas unveiled a 3D printed sole, allowing for more customized options. In 2019, Nike acquired Select to track real-time customer demand and behavior, enhancing personalization and product quality. A few years later, in 2021, Nike entered the metaverse with Nike Land and Roblox in Snapchat's AR lenses. They also acquired RTFKT for $1 billion to lead in NFTs. Adidas followed suit, creating a decentralized space in the sandbox and partnering with Bored Ape Yacht Club NFT. Expert Dustin York notes Nike and Adidas are both venturing into Web 3.0 and the metaverse, though with distinct strategies. The long-standing sneaker showdown between Nike and Adidas, reminiscent of cola and pizza rivalries, has been going strong for years. Their relentless drive for improvement and innovation keeps them ahead of competitors like Puma, Under Armour, and Fila. But let's face it, in this sneaker war, Nike is clearly leading the pack. Their unique branding approach is surely leading them ahead of competitors like Adidas.